Just uh, going to take you through the uh, Q16 a bit. Here's the Q16, new at the Frankfurt 13 show. It's uh, 16 mic inputs, plus three stereo, 10 mix outs and uh, main left right. So all that local IO is on the back. And you've also got your D-Snake um, Cat5 on the back to get to the 2412 and the 84, and obviously your Mi1. So Q16 is D-Snake compatible to get to uh, your remote IO. So touch screen. Um, you can touch chat. You've got a touch channel, so you can get into your gate, your, your parametric EQ, your compressor. You can tweak your attack, release ballistics on the touch screen. Really easy to get get to those features. But you've also got your super strip, so you can always get your hands on your parametric EQ, your high pass, your, your preamp, obviously, and your gate and compressor uh, thresholds. It's total recall this desk, so you've got the recallable mic pre. You've got your motorized faders, so every every parameter in your scene can be recalled, total recall. The surface is really driven through two layers. So on the primary layer here, you've got your, your 16 primary channels fed from your, your, your mic pre's. Then on the second layer, you've got your three stereos, your four effects returns, two dedicated effects send uh, bus, and your, your 10 mix masters. On the right hand side, you've got your mix selects, so it's really easy to get a mix going. We can select mix one there. We could select the processing on mix one if you want and check out the graphic EQ or compressor on, on mix one. And then obviously you've got your send levels uh, from all the inputs on the primary level, one to 16, and the top layer there for your, your stereos and your effects returns. And then as we select down through the mix selects, you get your sends and your masters and even because we selected select here you get your, your processing in view. It brings you around to the stereo mixes have got parametric EQ and the and left right has got graphic EQ and the mono mixes have got graphic EQ too and all mixes also have a compressor insert and delay on each channel. The input processing which we saw briefly earlier uh, has uh, a gate parametric EQ compressor Obviously the head amp switchable between USB and local I.O. We'll get to the USB sourcing in a minute. And you've got channel linking and delay in that window too. So over here we've got the Q drive. So we've got an 18 channel uh, interface, a multi-track interface to USB drive. You could also run that as a stereo record playback source if you want, straight into ST3 or record uh, left, right or a mix. But around the back of the unit, you've also got a USB-B socket for streaming direct to a Mac. So you've got 22 sources record playback to a Mac. On the back, you've also got an AES3 output. So I can show you how you set that up on the, on the GUI here. You've got an output patch bay here. So you can select, select your AES out to be any mix. And you've got a stereo or, or two-channel. Uh, line output where you can select an, uh, another mix out on, on an alt output where the levels here in the master section next to the phone output and the phone level. Just below that you've got your four soft keys giving you access to the four mute groups or scene, scene control or effects tap tempo and moving on to the effects racks there's four dedicated effects racks in the system running iLive and or GLD um, effects algorithms so you've got a whole range from the from the iLive effects uh, engines, reverbs, delays, of uh, flanges, chorus, uh, and, and phasers. On the back of the Q16, there's also an Ethernet uh, RJ45 allowing you connection to uh, the Q pad, which is pretty similar to the GLD pad, giving you access to um, channel mixing and processing. Key features: 16 mic ins, three stereo, total recall mic pre, moving faders. Multi-track USB uh, drive interface with USB streaming 2 to Mac and touchscreen for easy access to the touch channel and the super strip of course.